Hey, so I've created a um, an object serializer. I don't know if people have done this before, probably. Um, mine is special in the fact that it, it specifically serializes it into Lua executed code, Lua executable code rather. Um, so this is useful, for instance, if I'm making a plugin and it has an enormous UI that I'm building for it. Um, if I don't want to just store the UI with a plugin and waste memory, I can actually codify it, I guess you could say, and um, just create it once it's needed. So that kind of solves the dilemma, especially in plugin development, whether or not you should build the plugin beforehand and save it with the plugin and use that memory or create the whole UI using code during runtime. And so it's, it's kind of the middle ground, right? You build the plugin or the UI, whatever you're building, and then you turn it into code. <laughs> so that's what this little plugin does that I built. Um, so I have two um, examples here. One is my data store editor GUI, or GUI, however you want to say it. And another is this uh, disc golf basket that I made. So starting with the basket, um, let's just serialize it. So you select it and then click the plugin button, object to Lua, no image for it yet. And it quickly makes it. So now I have a module script, which is set up to um, create the object when I call the function it returns. So for instance, I'm gonna move the object over here and then select the basket to Lua module and execute it and boom, we have another basket exactly the same. And what's nice is that this also can set reference parts. So for instance, we have primary part pointing to a pole so it knows how to handle those things properly too. Um, and I went through all the uh, awful process of making sure it could create all the other data types too. So, you know, vector threes and number sequences, all of those things um, can be serialized in this. So again, um, let me use the data store editor UI as an example. Click object to Lua, it creates an enormous module script of everything serialized. And I can execute that and create it and it creates it. Throw it in here just to prove it. <laughs> So there it is. Um, so it's really easy to use. Again, you point and click, right? You, you select what you want to copy or whatever, and you click the plugin button, and that's it. Um, behind the scenes, this is fetching um, NA minus's API dump that he's JSONified, I guess you could say. Um, and so it's using that to uh, uh, know what properties to, to take from each object and whatnot. And uh, that's about it. So I will release this pretty soon.